Hello everyone! So, today I am here to do a music video and album reaction to Kim sung Gyu's Inside Me album and I'm Cold music video. Yeah, if you guys didn't notice, I stopped doing reaction videos a long time ago because I quite honestly find them very, very cheap. Um, especially with how popular K-pop has gotten, I feel like the amount of reaction channels is ridiculous and doesn't make any sense and people just do it to make a video um, and don't actually really care about the music or the group or the music video or whatever. Um, so basically I just don't trust anyone else to do this reaction because I don't think they're gonna do it and also I very highly doubt any of them are in spirit or Sung Yoo stands. So um, Kim Sung Yoo, he is my ultimate bias in K-pop and I love him so much. <laughs> So I really wanted to do this. I did actually do a music video reaction for his last comeback, which was True Love. It's on my channel somewhere. And I have liked Infinite since like 2015, like right before Bad came out is basically when I got into them. Um, but yeah, today I'm just so excited to finally watch this music video and finally listen to this album because I have obviously been keeping up like religiously <laughs> with all of the different teasers that they've been putting out and the music video looks amazing from what I've seen from the preview. It looks so aesthetic and so interesting and also he did like live preview clips of all of the songs and I'm so excited about a lot of them. Um, I think the ones I'm the most excited about are uh, I'm Cold and Climax and I would have said Room but I've already seen Room and like heard room multiple times because he performed it at his online concert that I went to. Oh my goodness, Scooby! Hi! Are you here to do the video with me? Oh, Scooby's here to help. And I'm Cold is just so interesting to me. It's the title track, so it's the music video. And it's just so interesting to me because he has described it as like R&B, hip hop, and rock. And listen, if Sung Yoo does rock, I need to see it because I love when Sung Yoo does actual rock stuff because he wanted to be a rock singer. And then Climax I'm most interested in because of the fact that someone said it sounds like a One Direction song from the preview and ever since I can't really unhear it and that's so different from Sung Yoo. Sung Yoo's always super emo sad boy hour ballads. So. Um, I'm really excited about these different songs because they are so different for him. I'm excited about the other two, like Fade and Diving, but like not as much as um, I'm Cold and Climax. So without further ado, I'm just going to get right on into watching the music video. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I haven't watched it yet. Everyone keeps, everyone like I woke up to so many text messages because I'm not someone who's going to stay up until 4 a.m. to watch a music video. Um, so I woke up to so many messages from people being like, hey, have you watched it yet? And I was like, no. <laughs> and so it's like quite a bit later in the day than like most people have watched it. So I've been dying. So yeah, let's just watch this music video. Ulim, let's go. I'm already fucking digging it! Are we in Twilight right now? <laughs> Like, like a fantasy book. Oh, he looks so good. Oh, he looks so fucking good. much English in it. Fuck! <laughs> okay, the visuals are amazing and the song is so different. Like I knew we didn't hear the whole chorus in the preview, but I feel like like 
six different things are happening. Like, I was really confused when he said it was like four different genres, but... Also, oh, I'm just so happy we got dark haired Sunny. Holy shit! Looks so good. Oh my god. It's already like stuck in my head. <laughs> it's so sad. I just wanna know who hurt him. The like visuals are awesome. It looks like Ulam actually tried on this music video. Which is impressive. I also thought Sangu said he wasn't gonna run or even jog in this music video. He's, he's gonna run a little bit. <laughs> he's just always running. Oh, is where's that gonna happen? <laughs> With the windows. Oh! <laughs> what did that do? <laughs> so is this like him, like, like this is him like getting broken up with and then later when he's like looking back on it? That's what I'm assuming the plot is. Such a cool shot. It reminds me of um, Answer by ATs, which I love that music video. Oh, it looks so It has so much English in it. I'm, I don't know why that's so surprising to me. Oh. oh. This looks like Tell Me. Does that not look like Tell Me? That looks like Tell Me. But the tree and the light tell me. <laughs> okay, so that was I'm Cold. Wow, okay. So, I loved that. <laughs> that was so good. That was so different for Sungyu, especially. Like, the sound, but also the aesthetics. I kind of was thinking about this, like, the other day that I was like, this man left at the very beginning of 2018. That's why I stopped talking about that for so long. This has been almost three years since he has put out any music, including with Infinite, because he wasn't in Clock. And I was kind of like, wow, if you think about what has happened since the beginning of 2018, like, K-pop itself has changed. Like, I remember in 2018 when I was a, like, like, fangirling over Tell Me and 10 Stories, no one around me knew what K-pop was. Like, I was in undergrad of college at that point. I was in my freshman, no, sophomore year. And, um, literally no one around me even knew what K-pop was. And just, like, the difference between then and now is insane. So I was kind of like, ooh, I wonder what Sunyu is going to do because I feel like he's not someone who's gonna, like, completely change his sound just because K-pop has changed. Um, which I don't think he has. I definitely still think this sounds very much like Sanyu, but I was kind of wondering what he was gonna do to, like, grow with the times, I guess, is what I'm saying. Um, and I think he did it. I think it sounds amazing. It is so Sanyu, like, 100%, but it's also, like, so interesting and kind of funky. Like, I feel like everyone right now has been going very retro, and this isn't retro, but it's got, like, a very nice feeling to it. Like, it, it's cohesive. Like, it doesn't feel like it's coming out of left field in the industry. Um, and I love it. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> I think that's my favorite music video, for sure. What else does he even have for music videos? He has 60 seconds, I need you. He has a couple of 10 stories and control. And stuff. I do love the music video for control. Just the backstory and everything. It's so fucking good. I do love 10, um, true love, but I think this is my favorite music video. It looks like the, their production quality just fucking went through the roof. Holy shit. Um, I don't follow any other Ulim groups. I know I should. I've like listened to a lot of their music and I like listen to their comebacks and stuff when they happen. But I'm not like into like Golden Child, Lovelies, or Rocket Punch. And I feel like their like quality of music videos has just gone way up in the last two years. <laughs> All right, but now I am going to listen to the entire album and give my reactions to all of the different songs. I feel like this is like in my head this is Sunyu's whole album because 
<laughs> it's called Inside Me. And we end with Climax. So I'm like, it's it's a Ho album, but like so far what I've seen is it's not really a Ho album. So um, I have to tamper my expectations a little bit. Um, but anyways, I am going to listen to the entire album. So number one is Inside Me. Let's listen. What is going on? <laughs> is this like an intro? Like in inside me more of an intro than an actual song? This sounds like the background music of like a fantasy movie. Like, does it not? <laughs> it sounds like, I mean, it's it's like beats from on cold, but like it really does sound like a fantasy soundtrack. <laughs> Okay, I think this is more of an intro. Let's go to number three. So yeah, number three is Fade, or Unknown. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember which one this is from the preview. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is very, like, Sanyu, for sure. Oh, I remember what I thought when I first heard this preview. It reminds me of, oh my god, the song by EXO that's on the Universe album. Is it called Falling? Or like, Been Through? It's interesting because like I'm cold and fade so far. Um, they sound so much like Sunyu, but they also I like can't compare them to other songs by him. <sighs> Did he start learn some more English? <laughs> I know in K-pop nowadays, like you freaking have to learn English, which I think is ridiculous. But um, there's so much English. I feel like there's been more English in the first two songs than there has been in all three of his albums. <laughs> oh yeah. Can't see. I have my little Sunny and Infinite albums right over here. Ooh. Hey. Alright, I can tell that this song is gonna be one of those ones that I like ignore for like the first six months and then I find it six months later and act like it's a new song. <laughs> I did that with Mirror. <laughs> With 10 stories, I completely ignored that song for three years. <laughs> and then I started listening to it recently, it's like my favorite song. So, okay, yeah, Room. I have heard Room. Again, I did go to his concert in November. Um, I stood up at like 4.30 in the morning. <gasps> and the song is beautiful. So, it is again, just who hurt you? <laughs> if you haven't seen the clips from his concert, I highly recommend looking it up. The set was insane. For it. Oh, I have always said Sunny's voice puts me to sleep. This reminds me of his song Drama, which is like, I don't know, if was it an OST? It was just like a song that wasn't on like his album, so like he did it for someone. And it reminds me of that, even though Drama is like kind of an upbeat song, like the like vocal like riffs remind me of it. I don't know. I love that song though. Um, anyways, I was saying, Sunny's voice puts me to sleep in like the best way possible. It's just so like dreamy and relaxing and I'm like haven't even finished my morning tea, so I'm falling asleep <laughs> while listening to the song. <laughs> yeah, where was I driving? I was driving somewhere like really late at night. God, was it with Haley? And it was so late at night, and I was like driving with Sangyu playing, and I was like, this is the worst idea. <laughs> also, staying up until 4:30 in the morning with his concert, I was like falling asleep so hard. <laughs> 
but like in the best way possible. I don't mean as in he's boring, I mean his voice is just so pretty it puts me to sleep. Okay, I got chances so I'm actually gonna fucking fall asleep. I've already heard that one a lot though, so it's fine. <laughs> okay, number five is Divin. Like Drippin? <laughs> All caps with no G. <laughs> I was actually thinking, I was like, who decides <laughs> what is capitalized and what's not? Because inside me is all caps and Divin is all caps. And also, again, Drippin? <laughs> also, sung you with Drippin is adorable. Drippin is like Ulam's new group that just debuted this year. And sung you like went to their showcase and everything, or like their um, comeback. Their comeback? Debut stage. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, I was excited about this one. I feel like this is the one everyone's the most excited about. It's like funky, but still emo sad boy kind of hours. Yeah. I like that it went a little funky. It's not the rock album that I've been waiting for for five years, but it's like a little bit funky and I like it a lot. I know he probably doesn't, but I would love to have seen some of you like perform these like with like a dance. Like dancing or like backup dancers or something, because I feel like- tell me if I'm wrong, I might be wrong. This song reminds me of Rain by Uka, not in the sound at all, but in the feeling of like Sunyu standing at a mic just singing with like hot backup dancers behind <laughs> Do you guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> with Rain by Uhyun. Um, that's the- I think that could be a really great performance for this song. Yeah, I like it! This kind of also reminds me of drama. I think I just have drama in my head. <laughs> I've been listening to drama too. It's so good. Also, I did tweet this on my stand Twitter. If you guys like somehow didn't know I do have a stand Twitter for Infinite, I'm really annoying on there. Like, don't bother following me unless you actually really love Infinite. <laughs> I did point out that um, Room and Climax for like his live preview stuff didn't look like they were actually live previews. They looked like music videos. So if we get more music videos, I'm gonna cry. It's gonna be awesome. All right, we got the Climax. I'm so excited for this. Again, someone said it sounded like a One Direction song and I can't unhear it, so I'm like it also <laughs> so I can get that out of my head. <laughs> it definitely sounded really poppy for Sunyu. Oh! I already like it. It's like slower than I thought it was gonna be. I was expecting more pop. Maybe the chorus just pops. I love this bridge. No. <laughs> I love this bridge though. Sorry, I was like singing the chorus. <laughs> They really like used all of the music language. Like. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. This is good. This is definitely like his encore song. Like, he's performing all these sad emo boy songs, and we need to get like hyped for the encore. This is the encore song. <laughs> I really like the bridge. I think I like the bridge the most. It's very like, you know, does this make any sense? <laughs> Are we ever gonna get Rapper Q again? 
<laughs> I love when he does the rap for, um, what is it? Is it Dream something? Whatever. I don't know <laughs> that song that he does with the actual rapper. I can feel this at a concert. Do you know what I mean? Just like, everyone has their light sticks, which I don't have. I just... Also, if you are wondering, I did order his albums. I ordered both copies. I did like a group order on Twitter because I didn't want to pay for shipping. <laughs> I didn't want to pay for like the crazy shipping from Korea right now. Like shipping is insane. So I did a group order. Also, the girl I ordered from like got into the um, fan meet with Sunyu, like the virtual one. Um, so. I'm so excited for my albums to get here. It'll be so great. <laughs> Alright, so that was all of Sungyu's new album, Inside Me, and his music video for I'm Cold. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Gosh, what is- l let me think. I have to like, because everyone wants to know like, what your favorite song is on the album. I'm gonna have to listen to this album like 600 times before I truly decide that. But, I'd say at the moment, because I'm me. <laughs> And I really like just like upbeat, fancy, fucking rock out songs, which yeah, I love Sung Yoo. Don't at me. I, he's like the only person who sings ballads that I enjoy. I'll go with Climax, I'm Cold, Dive In, Room, and then Fade, which is saying a lot because I love Room. <laughs> like I was expecting Room to be number one if I'm completely honest, but I, yeah, I'd say that Climax. I'm cold, dive in, room, fade. Dive in, dive in came out of left field. I wasn't expecting to love that one, but it's really fun. It's very funky, so. Yeah, anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this music video and album reaction to Sungyu's Inside Me and I'm Cold. Definitely go and give the actual music video a watch or two if you want. I never someone to be like, oh my god, stream. But um, go give the music video a watch if you enjoyed it to support him. Um, that's all I'll say. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I love y'all, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!